Hi, Hi Rose friends. friends! Today we're going to take a reaction video. In such a long time. It is. And the reaction video is called March of the Valiant. Mm. We got to know this by the recommendation of uh -huh. our close friends. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Valor can be aroused only by a righteous cause. That's a really nice yeah. quote. Immediately, the Philippine government, under the leadership of President Pedro Quirino, offered to support. Although at that time, you know, he's still uh, recovering from the damage of World War II. They should to sacrifice to fulfill the commitment of our country to help a member nation wow. in need. And he says the price of freedom was something that we fought for with our blood, and we were going to do it again. Authorized under an act of Congress, Republic Act. 573, which was passed in early September 1950. It provided the legal authority for a total of five different Philippine battalion yeah. combat That's teams awesome. or battalion to help defend the beleaguered South Korea. That's a lot. Yeah, that is. It was only through the idea of President Trino. We volunteers, we were never forced. We were young and we were trained, so we were prepared. And she was a volunteer. We were a very happy bunch, in spite of the fact that we anticipated hardships and deathly threats on the Korean front. Yes. I think it's going to be so scary. I saw Korea but defeated, ruins. Then the, the civilians 
were bringing their packs moving, you could see movement all around, back and forth, because everybody didn't know where to go. Children crying, and most of the children were very skinny. That's oh, almost absolutely right, probably. Hundreds more. Yeah. We sympathize with them because we all suffered the same consequences during the World War II oh, when the Japanese you. started bombing our areas. We give them food. And that was uh, their parents will come rushing towards us also, I think, for food. The whole people there, Talagang, they're starving. Very sad life. Very destructive and communism. That's why we were expecting. We are facing trouble. So warm hearted. Then from there, we were transferred to Sarimon. Now, this is the first time we noticed the cold. Oh, that yeah. was the coldest time during 100 years. It was 15 degrees per wow. wow. It's like freezing cold. Wow. Philippines doesn't have winter in July. It was 11 November when we started the first back roll between New Jong up to CNG. I was leading the group because I was with the tanks. But the further, further is the battery ships. Now we reinforce them. Then followed by two companies, the A1 and Baker companies. Then before we have to cross the hill, which was dividing the area between towns, we have to cross a bend. Now in that bend, further, there was 45 area by the North Koreans. Example, oh. this is a hill. There are four lines of trenches. So when we were able to clear that area, they started firing at us. That's a far journey. It was so surprising that Talagang, everybody cannot move because I am a bit tan, no kusinali. Sa tang mirong perisko, I try to look. Nakita ko, no, nobody was moving because uh -huh. talagang fighting at that area. Pati yung tanki ko na pasok-sok doon sa ano, uh -huh. ko, pinataas ko, taas ko, nakita ko. Yung mga North Korean troops, they were already talking of maybe attacking. Parang mga si soldier, the first thing is safety. And instead of defending you should be attacked, that's your reaction. You have to kill to live. Mm -hmm. So no ko pasok sa tanki. Pag napasok sa tanki, hindi tanong na si Tawit, na si machine gun. Immediately after the Battle of Newton, winter had already set in. The problem was that their uniforms that were issued to them earlier on mm -hmm. were not sufficient. Oh. Can I show him? Here's his leadership. And he's very young in that way. He says to him that you give us this necessary equipment to fight the enemy, we will not move. Well, he was relieved and Colonel Ojeda took over. It was a very sad thing. That's really sad. Pagkatapos niya, come April na, pumunta kami sa Carter North. Now, there was a report that they are going to attack the UA troops. Yun doon naman sa Yordong. Just then, the Chinese and the Koreans were inaugurating the first phase of what they call Chinese Spring Offensive. Nangyari si Yildong, ang Tempe City nandito, to the right of the Bay City, will be Turks, and to the left of them will be Puerto Ricans. There were now eminent signs that they were being attacked by the communists in mass. What the Chinese did was the master forces in the center of penetration. Dito nung atake sa atin. And then less strong forces on the side. The well Chinese were able to penetrate the ranks of the Turks. The Turkish, 
di manifesto similarly di continuing consumptiveness or something the same they give way kaya nakapasok sila nakapasok sila dito sa amin na isa na pala may here come now the written piece if you're holding up to their love using di ba yun eh ganito yun use of hand grenades and so on and so forth kulang lang siguro durahan na lang according to Voltaire God is always at the side of the greater battalion. Mm -hmm. Okay, you face your only 700. When the Oriens and the Chinese said about 700,000. Mm -hmm. I believe we're in Portugal. According to the testimony of the defenders, piles of dead, weren't there? Piles of dead. Don't you namatay mo si Captain niya sa kasi ni Lieutenant Tatiaga yung dalawang yun ang hero as the reconnaissance platoon leader of the reconnaissance company of the 20th Battalion Combat Team Pepto, then under Colonel Salvador Absede. Being volunteers, we were rushed to the front lines in Korea. Front lines? We took a railroad that took us to north of Seoul, the capital of South Korea and path beyond the 38th parallel where the green national of the 20th battalion combat team Pertop, was uh, stationed and uh, after spending overnight there we were uh, taken to our frontline positions north of the 38th parallel in the uh, vicinity of the city of Chorobon which is already part of North Korea during the third week of May our battalion decided that it is now or never, and I was picked by the battalion commander to lead the assault. And this is how I myself got into the big battle for Hill Erie. And uh, I was assigned to do this with my platoon of about 40, 45 men. Only 45? We started the approach to the enemy fortifications at about maybe 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, in May, in North Korea, 4 in the morning is still very dark and very cold. Yes. When we got to No Man's Land, after a truck ride of about 30 minutes, we had to creep and crawl. <laughs> of that period within no man's land we had to prod with our bayonets on whether there are mines oh. planted with tripwires in the rice fields wow. very dangerous very dangerous what's looking you're dead about two hours of creeping and crawling we saw really more clearly the enemy fortifications which were our targets we informed headquarters that we are here already in the assault line, we called it. They need to jump off towards the hill, but give us first the preparatory fires that we had planned. And these were from the fighter planes of the supporting American forces that dropped the paper bombs along the target area. Wow. In the meantime, we were advancing up the hill. But when the napalm bombs were falling too closely to us and endangered our troops, I called headquarters to cease fire on that and then bring in the artillery. behind us and with a forward observer, Lieutenant Cosme Aposta. He did a good job of bringing our artillery to bear upon the target area. 
and we continued advancing upward. When uh, we were too close to the uh, enemy positions, we called for ceasefire of the artillery, but we asked for tank direct fire. Experience. From our supporting forces in the map. And so the tanks being able to fire directly at the target almost in a straight line mm -hmm. started firing. Firing, we continued to advance to very near the top of the enemy uh, fortification. Oh, wow. And when it was time to do it, I said, Lift the tank fires, we're going to attack. Mm -hmm. We identified the bunkers and the bunks also the enemy one by one. And we attacked them with rifle fire, with bayonets and in some cases with demolitions. The hand-to-hand -hand combat lasted for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then I determined that the enemy resistance had died down. And I started accounting for my men, and I found out that they were all present, accounted for, except for one or two that were put dead. I was very proud of the fact that we accomplished our mission. Absolutely. Of course, uh, personally, I was very thankful to the good Lord Amen. for uh, saving the troops. And that is such great then planning. The 19th uh, BCT came in. I appreciate it with the turnover from the previous BCT, turned over to us. My dad was fascinated by flying, first of all. Uh, that was his hobby. And when he saw that many soldiers were being sent to the front, they came to my grandfather, then President Quirino, and said, Papa, I want to go to war. And my grandfather looked at him and says, well, if you go to war, then my son has to go with you. Dad used to say, when Lolo told me that I had to serve in the Korean War, of course I feared. I feared for my life. I didn't want my children to be fatherless. Yes. So that was my greatest fear. But the love for my father and my sense of duty to him as his son overtook any fears that I had. And so I said, yes, Papa, I will do it. It was just like Quirino to send his only son at that time and his only son in to the war. Wow. Because when he said the Philippines goes to war, he'll send his own family first. He was a spotter pilot. He would go on this small plane at very high altitude and look for the enemy and relay the information back to the base so that they could either fire artillery or have other planes with armament go there because his plane had no armament. Dad was assigned to desk duties in the beginning. Signal here, he make sure that all communication to the line to everyone is to be connected, that it properly connected can be conducted anytime because you don't go to combat without communication. Yeah. Signal is here. And this is greatness overload, yeah, guys. Because, like, all of them are legends. Because at this time he was married to the first lady of the Philippines, my mother, no? So, Siguro, they wanted to give him some type of preferential treatment, and he didn't like that at all. So, he wrote to them and he said for them to please give him combat missions. My mother even said to me that your father, quote unquote, would do anything to measure up in the eyes of his father in the sense of esteem and respect. So he kept telling the officer, I, I want to see action. I want to see action. On the 10th of June, we were shipped to 9 James Tower. And that's about three miles long stretch of defense of the United States forces. And in five days, we were sent to the Cable Hills, 
that is still one and one and keep eating towards the stem of the pole where the one regiment of Chinese are there and we had a four days battle with the population. Find you until there is bomb that is just in front of you and carry yards away and then you leave behind a battle. If this is the hill that you occupy, the enemy was already crowding up, 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 and our panels didn't see the move it up. But I do not know. My company commander was requesting for firing position. I wish you be the salute of the government. What way
to almost one for the one battalion of the 45th division to replace them and to climb up the hills. And then when we went up the hill, uh, sometimes you vomit in the smell of the decay. And then we went up the hill. 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 We captured the Christmas hill. Then the Chinese attempted uh, several times to recover the hill. They throw in battalions after battalions to try to inflict as much casualties. They throw in uh, practically everything. Parang ubusin na yung bala. Like in the... What? When you fight back in that war, you have everything you need. Artillery fire support, tank support, aircraft, you can get ash for empire support. They deserve more than that. God, this is so touching, you know? I know, Ron. My spirit of patriotism is pretty enhanced. Mm -hmm. What an experience to be fighting like that. Something that I can be proud of. No, my family can be proud of. Being part of Pesto was one of Daddy's favorite episodes of his life. When he was diagnosed with cancer, the last trip he took was to Korea. He wanted to go back to the 38th parallel yeah. to Papua oh. John, just to go back and rekindle those memories. For me, that told me a lot about what he felt 
Yung kabayarihan, kagitingan, at katapangan ng mga Pilipino na sumabag sa Korea ay dapat maaigyan ng yes, It is a moment of remembrance, but it is also a moment of extreme pride that our fathers and my grandfather saw it fit to be part of the democratic principles of freedom that More than we did what it took to keep our cherished democracy. And to all the soldiers that fought hand in hand, side by side, heroes of the Pesto, I salute you all. May the youth, like we do now, and hopefully generations to come, may they never forget the freedoms that were purchased with your blood and your sacrifice. Let's give them a salute. Yeah, really. Right and right all over. The Vietnam War also after the Korean War to all of us. And some of us not only suffered from all of this, but some old warriors like. Oh. Were there. But we were happy to do our little humble participation in all of that. how all the cinematic like films they were absolutely great and thank you for giving us once more a historic mm -hmm. lesson mm -hmm. and i've never seen these people before but i'm really touched by all single one of these absolutely. and i really respect them i salute them and yeah. this was just amazing you guys were so friendly i just want to really meet these people mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you see it's always the philippines who approaches first yeah so i think that's one of the biggest reasons why the korean and filipino relationships the bond is really tight even now yeah. because of these happenings you guys really deserve more just so much more yeah, i really think you <laughs> yeah, so really guys, thank you once more and we all respect all these people who came out and they they actually need so much more respect than us. Yes, they do. So I hope you guys also appreciated this video together with us and we'll see you on our next video. So don't forget to like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Bye! Bye.